Hello, welcome to this video. Um, I am Tom van der Wegen. I'm the Solutions Architect for Core Security in EMEA and APAC. And today I'm going to talk to you about um, web um, application um, pen testing and web application and web server attacks. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how an attacker could um, a breach your a web application or your website and then from there um, trying to take over uh, the machine that the website or um, the uh, web application database is on and from there the attacker would be able to um, you know uh, pivot further into your organization and I'm going to show you how you can um, achieve this how you can uh, achieve this for core so that you can you know, uh, that we basically mimic that attack uh, in this video so uh, first thing um, I'm going to do is um, information gathering and as you can see there's more steps here and this is basically wizard based steps and these are basically uh, basically uh, uh, the steps that an attacker or a hacker would um, normally take but as with uh, every attack reconnaissance is probably um, one of the most important things so the first thing we're going to do is to get as much information as possible so my particular uh, web application is called a VM Core Lab. So I'm just going to create a scenario so that will create a folder here, um, which means everything will be um, nicely organized um, in that folder for this for this test. Um, then we can either crawl a known web application or we can discover web applications um, in our environment. Okay, but in this case I'm going to crawl a known web application. Um, here another a couple of choices as well, so we can do automatic web crawling. So automatically it will start from the top and it will crawl, it will basically map out that um, web application or web uh, server. But we could also do that interactively for a web and for mobile backend as well. So basically this would um, make impact a proxy and then um, you can point your browser to impact and wherever you're going to browse is going to be recorded by impact and then later on you can you can um, test them or attack them of course i need to uh, rename the url because we're going to do automatic uh, web crawling so we can point it to my um, web application here which is VM Core Lab. And then uh, proxy settings. So in this case, this website is in the same setnet, so I don't uh, have a proxy. You can set that here. Um, the, the restrictions, so the depth, the uh, maximum number of pages, the domains, and so forth. Uh, this is just to prevent uh, you know, crawling the whole internet. Um, then we can also evaluate JavaScript when we uh, when we uh, when we see some code. We can we can um, run that script and then see uh, where that takes us. Uh, we can follow robots.txt files. We can uh, fill out forms and also, of course, we can um, do authentication. So you can uh, do form-based authentication, HTTP custom. So you can create your own authentication uh, modules here, uh, SSL authentication. But in this case, my web page doesn't need authentication, so I, I can unselect that. And then we've got support for SOAP and, and, and REST as well. Um, so this is used for um, mobile phones a lot. Um, we use that protocol so we can follow that protocol and see what's in the back end. And then later on, um, we can we can test that. Um, <coughs> well, I'm not going to use it in this case, so I'm going to finish it. And as with, with all um, impact modules, uh, the log file will be uh, right here. Um, and we can expand that to see the individual log, uh, the individual modules here. I can click on that and you can see exactly what it's doing. Um, so it's created a scenario here, VM Core Lab. If I click on that folder, we can see it started here. Uh, from there, we found. Um, these links and then in these links we found the other links and so forth so it basically will map out the whole the whole uh, web application if I go on top of the mother um, or the parent uh, module so here you see the output so we can see exactly um, how f what the progress is and what links we found so um, now we can basically start the attack 
so we can select our targets and so you select your scenarios and obviously you can have more than one scenario here but in this case I've got one select that that will basically select everything within that scenario or we can just select individual URLs there as well now uh, we use the OWASP top 10 so um, basically OWASP is an organization that publishes all the um, top 10 web attacks that are out there and basically that's what we use to um, to do our pen tests um, in this particular example I'm only going to do SQL injection but you can obviously select the other ones as well now because I selected SQL injection it will ask me some additional questions on uh, what to use and what to do I'm going to do, go for a full one and I'm going to finish that and again that will start my attack here again as usual you can see the progress here but we can also expand this and see the individual tasks here in the module lock so basically what we're doing now is um, going to the these URLs um, confirming if there's a form in there and then we're going to put some characters in that form and we'll have a look if we get a response from the database okay if we get an error code or any sort of response uh, from the data that means we can interact with it uh, which shouldn't happen and that means that particular web application web website is vulnerable to SQL injection attacks okay and then we can further um, exploit that or take advantage of that by, by injecting code or commands to the SQL database and um, uh, because uh, the form is not sanitized we can basically interact with the database and that um, those commands will be executed and will give us output now here we can see that um, we um, are already successful so um, you can see there's an SQL agent here if we click on that agent it tells me exactly here what um, what it actually means a description uh, the URL but also what triggers we use to to um, to come to that conclusion, and what um, capabilities we've got now, and so forth and so forth. And even if I go to entity properties, I get even more information here on the on the um, um, vulnerability. Now, because we got an agent, so this doesn't actually mean that we installed anything on that on that particular URL. This just means um, um, it's a reference for Impact. So Impact knows, okay, uh, this particular URL is vulnerable to SQL injection. Um, so I'm going to put an agent there, a a um, so that um, um, the um, tester can interact with that database. What does that mean? I can just right click here and, uh, for example, open a command shell or an SQL shell. Okay, but what I also can do is um, I can go to modules. I can filter modules by target, so it will only show me what's valid for that target and that agent in, in this in this case. And then have a look at information gathering local. Okay, so there's quite a few things I can get now from that database. Um, but probably the most interesting thing I can get at this moment is the database schema, because the database schema will tell me exactly um, what's in that database, and what the database is called, what um, what tables there are in and what columns are in that table in those tables. So we can see um, there's some sales information here, some diagrams. Uh, here we can see employee. Hold on. Down, where was my employee? There we go, employee. So let's have a look what's in there. So there's title, last name, uh, sick leave, start date, uh, middle name, phone, gender. So there's quite a lot of base rate. So that's in, that's quite handy. So there's quite some information on the employee. So what we can do now is basically right click here and open an SQL shell. Now, 
and now with simple SQL queries we can start to query that database and um, so I could for example say select oh select and I want to know the first name I want to know the last name I want to know their birth date just you know because there won't be two the same people with the same name and I want to know what they earn and that's from a table called dim and again I as you saw I got this information I know this information is in there because of the um, schema there we go so providing I haven't made any uh, spelling errors there we go we get um, all the information so first name last name date of birth and base rate and now can of course change or delete or add information to that database okay uh, but typically what would happen in the real life is that uh, an attacker would attack a database or a, 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 a URL and uh, will do exactly what I do have a look what's in the database but um, because this uh, is in the DMZ, there shouldn't be too much um, interesting information in that uh, in that particular database. So, um, what they would try to do is because they uh, let's say this is a um, a URL um, that um, accepts uh, banking payments or payments. Uh, the attacker basically knows that that information must go somewhere. Okay, so the credit card information is probably going deeper inside the company and um, so what we need to do is we need to try, try to get deeper into the company as well um, so that's exactly what we can uh, can try here so I could for example say here install OS agent using SQL agent now I can drag and drop that over there I can confirm the target and this will basically um, make use of the store procedures so it will kick off a store procedure on that um, on that database and that store procedure will give us or should give us um, system access to that um, to that machine so let's have a look where we are here we go and <coughs> that was successful and um, so now we've got a new agent on machine 120 and I can go to the output a, we get all the information but I can also there's an interactive link here I can click that and it will take me to the network site here and now you see I've got an agent on machine 120 okay and with that agent I can right click and I've got all these options here so I could for example get um, username that should tell me who I'm logged in as I could f try uh, Mimikatz which should give which should give me um, at the usernames and password of that machine. So password, uh, usernames, hashes. Okay. Um, but what I also can do is I can um, because I'm, I've got a foothold now in this machine. So I'm inside that company. I can see what other machines are on this network, and then try to attack them, and then maybe use them to pivot even to another network to another until I find that um, um, that credit card information or I could install a sniffer to see where that credit card information is going and follow that okay so we can make this source and then we can say here RPT let's do a port scan on that network So that's the network. I'll do a port scan. Just follow that. And that will now basically find any other machine on that network, and then we can attack them uh, with these wizards, as you can see in my other video uh, network attack. Okay, so this is how um, an attacker would. Uh, make use of a web vulnerability to gain access to your network and then pivot further into that network. I hope that's that was useful and please look out for um, for my other videos 
um, uh, on this on this channel as well. Thank you.